The XM, XM Bank programs we're going to discuss today are similar government industry cooperations that can help our nation continue to be the leading manufacturer in the world. You know, we hear more and more about how manufacturing is dying in America. We do not believe it. Uh, we build things here and we intend to continue building things here. Well, I'm interested in exploring export markets for new products. I'd like to make some aged whiskeys and see if there's a market in China for Ohio made whiskey. Um, I think, you know, there's so many countries out there that are looking for just American products. I mean, we do make the best products in the world, and I'd like to get out there and get it to, you know, doesn't matter if it's in, uh, you know, in West Africa or China or India. I just, I'd like to get it out there and uh, have people use the product and enjoy it. Ohio is actually in the forefront right now. Exports are up 22%. Nationwide up about 15%, so this is a strong export market. And it's a really strong market for small business. About half the exports that we support and help finance in Ohio are small businesses. So this is a really key market for us to reboot our economy and get more people back to work. You've seen companies all over Ohio that have worked with the Exim Bank or worked with the Export Assistance Center and worked with um, the SBA have, have much greater success than they might other times. Uh, I mean, the, the large companies don't need this kind of assistance the same way that small businesses do. And, and because, uh, you know, as a small guy or a, a, comp, a small group of uh, a woman-owned business or anybody that's small that tries to figure this out, it's expensive. I mean, expensive hiring people, and that partnership with the government can can help them do what they want to do, and that's sell their product in a market that you know we're only five percent of the world's population, and we need to sell outside the country more than we do, and we haven't had a policy to do it well enough in this country yet.